All right, we're back with another episode of the FIFA 20 Arsenal Career Mode. We are brought to you by VendettaSportsMedia.com. Make sure to follow us, the website, myself, Trey Daubert, do all that, and hit that damn subscribe button. Really want 100 subscribers. That is the goal for right now. Make sure to do that. Up now is the UEFA Super Cup. So Tottenham apparently won the Europa League. We won the Champions League last year, so... This is a thing that uh, is happening, I guess. So let's get into the press conference. Hi, guys. Thank you all for coming. We'll start taking questions now. All right, let's see what they got here. Expectations. I mean, what, what can he say at this point? Honestly, Tottenham is a team. They beat us when we were bad. But now we're really good. So... I hope that we smoke them. That's the answer I'm giving you. The community shield means nothing. All right, Manchester City, they are what they are. They're not that good. This team can win everything. Last year, we won every trophy. We won this, that, and the other thing. Won everything. Uh, confidence with Tottenham. Don't really care. Not even a lick. Their morale is irrelevant to me. Feels good to be playing some meaningful games. I'll give you that. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for today. See you next time. Truthfully, we should be playing a scrimmage game well, for this cup. Honestly. Because year number one, we won the Europa League. Year number two, we won the Champions League. We should be playing each other. I've played Tottenham 800 times, it feels like. There's no reason to play them again for this stupid cup. There is zero reason. Now, I get that they won the Europa League. This Tottenham team's not good. They're just not good. They lost for Toggin. They lost the other guy. I can't think of his name. We have Ericsson from them. This Tottenham team's not good. Eric Lamella. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid of that guy. So, let's just get this one over with. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just get this one over with. Again, I would like to use this time during the intro, and I will leave these in just to explain what's going on here. We're going to play Tottenham for this cup. Then... It's going to be a highlight video only, just the end highlights, against Newcastle United. Then, we will finish off the video with transfers. And this will round out the roster during the first transfer period. We'll make a couple moves. And again, you might be thinking, why do you keep making roster moves? Because you can never stop getting better. I want to continue to keep getting better. So that's what we will do. We will make a few more tweaks to the roster. Just to make this team more unstoppable than it already is. There's the cup that's on the line. Here is the lineup for today's game. And it's not the normal starting lineup because some of our guys are a little tired. We just played a game. Or simmed a game maybe. I forget, but we just played a game like two days ago. Some of the guys are tired and not in the lineup. So we're rolling with this squad, and this Tottenham team is just not that good, so I'm not really concerned. Like, they have some guy with no face in the back. Honestly. You think I'm concerned about that? Another thing, make sure to watch our fantasy football show. It's gotten some good hits. Heard some good things. It's by far out viewing this series. So make sure to watch our fantasy football show if you're into that. Let's get the game started here. First minute of the game. Turn the ball over. That was done by me. Let's get it back real quick here. Son's got the ball. Dumb turnover by them. Okay, we both got dumb turnovers. I hate when they do this. Nobody's open. Why? Stupid. Okay, let's get it going. Maitland Niles past the Pogba. Pass to Erickson, fling it up the head to Pepe. Good lane. Oh, beautiful ball to Mbappe. There's the banger. Just like that. 
third minute of the game, Killian Mbappe is on the board, baby. I'm telling you, there are just times I make the beautiful pass and there's nothing you can do about it. Beautiful shot placement, beautiful ball, Nicolas Pepe to Killian Mbappe. Well, I mean, when you got a guy like Pepe coming off the bench for you and he's not your normal starter, you know your team's good. Tottenham can't hang with us. I try to tell you, Manchester City, they're the most respectable team in the Premier League at this point outside of us. Tottenham's just another face. But I will say we advance it here to halftime, and the reason is I'm playing a dog shit game. I mean, to this point in the game, I advance it here. I didn't show you it because it was just dumb turnover after dumb turnover and I don't know what it was, but I was playing horribly. I mean, god awful. If I'm playing a really good team, I'm down 3-0. That's how bad I was playing. I was playing so damn bad. So, I'll show you the first half highlights here. Just so you have an idea. And I'll show you the first half stats. Because it was ugly. After this goal, nothing was going good. Turning the ball over, making dumb... Just dumb decision after dumb decision. 11th minute. They would have scored here if it was a better angle on the shot, but you're not getting that cheese by Donnarumma. Absolutely not. Actually, I thought I salvaged a 2 0 lead at the 45th minute, but he just got a he just got a finger on that ball. I had 43% possession in the first half. It, it was ugly. It was god awful. We advance it here a little bit again. 64th minute. Tottenham, can they make a comeback to this point? They're actually playing very well. It's a combination of me being horrible at this point. I was not playing well at all. That's a good pass over to the coronavirus. He's still got it. Coronavirus, nope. That's not going to work. Get that out of here. Bad header right at Donnarumma. I mean, what the hell was that? <sighs> Tierney, what are you doing? There we go. Okay, come on. Ah. Let's get it back. Come on, let's get it back. That was, that was a horrendous pass by Tierney. It ruined the whole break. It ruined the whole break. There's a good steal by V Jr. to Sané. Ball deflected out of bounds. We make a quick sub here. V Jr. in for Sancho. And Sané goes out. Kingsley Coman comes in here. Again, not the story. normal starting lineup because they were tired. But I did sub him in here late in the game. And it made a little bit of a difference, obviously. Here's Coman. Beautiful pass to Mbappe. He tracks it down. And at this point, screw it. This is one man show time, baby. One man show time. You can't stop that. Mbappe on the board for number two. That was just one man show hero ball action. Come get it. Cheese. Right there. Mbappe gives us the 2 0 lead. He should have had a third. That one at the 45th minute. That was a great save by Ugo Lloris, but we'll take this. We'll take this one. Top shelf. Top shelf piece. I'm just happy to get out of here with a respectable, I mean, respectable performance. It wasn't pretty, but whatever, man. We're still early in the season. We can get this cleaned up. No big deal. I advance it a little bit ahead after the goal again. We're at the 85th minute. There's still some time left on the game. I'll show you the closing minutes here. Tottenham, they just, they were more of a pest than anything. They really didn't have any good chances going. They had some shots on net, but none of them were like, ooh, that should have went in. And then you have possessions where the guys are just, I don't know what they're doing, what their game plan is. There's four minutes left, and they're just lollygagging around. I don't know what, this is a, this is a definition of what their offensive attack was today. Lollygagging around. Passing it around. They're not doing anything. I mean, what are you going to do here? That was actually a good shot, but 
that's not enough to beat Donnarumma. Your tricks aren't coming out, you know, they're not working here. And you set yourself up for a corner. This was actually dangerous. Yikes. But come away with the steal. And you know what happens. If you fail to convert your corner, it's not good news for you. It's not good news for you. Plus, there's like no time remaining here. They do come away with the ball again, but here is an offsides call. I'm not sure how. And the 90th minute, we fling it up ahead. Nicholas Pepe, look at him go. Look at him go. Just like this. Beautiful pass. Kingsley Coman cleans it up. Four of the three, nothing victory. That's just what we do. Nobody can score faster than us. If we get the right momentum going, we get the right passes going, we get down the field quick enough, the ball just goes in the back of the net. It's just all about that rhythm. And our guys are too fast, too powerful, and too skilled. That's how it works around here. Kingsley Coman, my guy right there. I mean, the guy scores every game. That is your ball game for the Super Cup. Pretty much showed the necessary stuff. Again, for those who haven't watched the series in the past, I do show longer clips of the games for the important ones, but this just isn't it. More, than, more so than anything, I just want to get to the World Cup. I want to use that United States men's team. That's what I'm the most excited about. I want to use that United States men's team. I am so fired up to do that. It seems like every video we just get a piece of hardware. <laughs> what can you do? This, I will say, is the last trophy for a while. We got the Dump Carabao Cup and the Emirates Cup and the Champions League, but those won't be concluded for a while. Also in this video, I show you the Champions League draw, which is obviously the most entertaining part of the series for us at this point, winning that Champions League. Nobody's going to really challenge us in England ever again. So, the Champions League is definitely the most entertaining part of this series. And I do show how the draw shakes out. I haven't done that in the past, but this time I do show that. Just a couple of questions for you. Press conference time. Honestly, we played like dog shit. We really did. It was a bad game, but... That's what happens with this team. I can play terrible and still win three to nothing. That's just the way it goes with this team. Just the reality. Sancho, he's great. What can you say? He's a cornerstone piece of this franchise. He deserves all the praise in the world, baby. Killing Mbappe. He's always the hero, man. He's a superstar. He is the single best player in this game. No question about it. Thank you. All right. Now we get into the highlight video here. This was a 6 nothing win over Newcastle. Again, this is just what it's going to be all year. <laughs> this is just what it's going to be. Timo Werner had himself a ball game. Sixth minute of the game. Leon Goretzka gets the first goal. That was a beautiful shot, baby. Right off the post and in. Right off the post and in. Twelfth minute of the game. We're going to get on the board again. Timo makes a great pass, and I believe that is Jaden Sancho with another goal in the Premier League. That's right, crank it up, baby. 34th minute, we're on the board again. 
And this time, my guy Timo Werner went nuts. Look at that shot. Just sits there and bangs it in. Four minutes later, 34th minute. I mean, we're just repeating ourselves at this point. Same exact spot, except a little curl job off the post and in. You gotta love when that happens. Five minutes later. Yes, Timo Werner did it again. He scored three goals within like a 10 minute span. <laughs> Insane. But don't worry, he wasn't done. A few more minutes later, 55th minute. He adds another one. That's goal number four. Timo Werner has been our best player this year. And he's not even the normal starter. Only because of Mbappe. He's been a monster. Now, we get into the transfers. And you might be saying, Trey, what are you doing? Signing a Russell Canals 75 overall. What is the point in this? I'm going to show you what the point of this is. Because for months, and even at this point, two years into this series, I have been trying to figure out a way to do this. And as has been something that has been driving me up a damn wall. Nobody has been able to take this guy off my hands. I have been trying just to get him off the roster. Please somebody take him. Finally, I found a team. DC United. Interested in Matt Macy. Thank the heavens. You have no idea how frustrated and angry I've been trying to move Matt Macy. This guy drives me insane. He complains about his role. When I accept the transfer offer, he rejects the move. Or it just doesn't happen. And when I try to swap him for somebody, anybody, nobody takes him. Finally, DC United. Thank you, heavens. <laughs> Thank the heavens. I have finally gotten rid of Matt Macy. And we are going to add... Russell Canhouse, but there's a twist. And you'll see the twist in a little bit. But it makes some sense because I'm the men's coach and he trusts me, but there's going to be a twist here. And you're going to find out. Honestly, in terms of like age and skill set and all that, he kind of reminds me of Cullum Chambers, who was on the team at the beginning. He's now at Wolverhampton. You'll see here in a second what happens. But obviously he's going to take this because he's getting a humongous raise. He's getting an enormous raise. Now keep this in mind. I got Canhouse, right? And I paid like around 10 million bucks for him. A little bit more than 10 million bucks. We're going to go over to Wolverhampton. And we're going to add Adama Traor. Now, for those who don't know, he is the fastest player in the game. And if you know me, I'm all about the fast break. Seven seconds or less, that ball's in the back of the net. That's the game that we play. And we're going to pull off some cheese here. We're going to pull off some serious, serious cheese. You might ask yourself, how am I going to acquire this guy? I don't even know how much he's worth. I don't even know how much his overall is at this point. I just know he's really fast. Here's your answer. We just got Canhouse. We're going to ship him over to Wolverhampton. And they're going to tell us how much more they want. And then we're basically going to cut it in half. They want nine and a half million. 
So keep that in mind. We paid about 10 million for Canals and got rid of that asshole Matt Macy who nobody would take. It was driving me insane. We're gonna cut it in half, basically, or close to it. Five million. I am the roster manipulator. Fastest player in the game. Bring him to town. Let's get him. They accept it. They accept it. So we're basically ponying up about 15 and a half million. So keep that number in mind here. Plus we got rid of Matt Macy. Thank God. And I would not cut him because there's no reason to cut him. You got to get something for him. He at least went a million dollars towards the can house move. So now we are going to bring in the fastest player in the game. He looks like a stud. I'm not going to lie. He looks like a stud. Honestly, I don't know what his overall is. I don't, but I, I honestly don't care because I know he's the fastest player in the game. That's what I care about. Or at least he was the fastest player in the game when the game came out. He probably isn't at this point just because we've been developing our players so much and they're probably 100 speeds, but whatever. We skipped ahead a little bit. You know what to do. You know how to negotiate. You know how to transfer at this point. We accept it here. Treyor is on the team. And keep in mind, again, once again, we gave up Macy and about 15 and a half million. 25 years old, he'll continue to get better. Keep that in mind as well. Treyor is worth 13 and a half, which is a great deal. We gave up 15 and a half, basically. And Treyor is 13 and a half. He goes up one overall, he's going to surpass that 15 and a half mark, which he's basically guaranteed to do. Fantastic move. Fantastic move. Now I'm going to go in. I'm going to show you his overall here. I'm going to show you his stats as soon as we can uh, find him here in the squad hub. You can see I've loaned out a lot of players too. A ton of players. Don't have room or don't have playing time. Keep going. There he is. Plus, I like I can play him on defense too. <laughs> right wing backer. Look at that speed, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 77 overall, too. That's we'll take that. That's fine. Here's the Champions League draw, by the way. If you need to pause the screen, feel free to do so. It goes by kind of fast, but these are the groups for the Champions League. We are in group H. Bayern, Lazio, and Spartak Moscow. I don't hate this group. Plus, I've never played Bayern yet. That's going to be a first. Can't wait to play Bayern. It's going to be a fun group. We're going to make one more transfer move. And the reason why I'm doing this is I always scout. I always look around, see what's going on. Hakimi, excellent speed. He's great for Dortmund right now. And Real Madrid actually accepted an offer from Leipzig. And if you can see there, they're basically giving this guy away for nothing. That's not acceptable. This is a really good player who's young and will continue to grow and get better. We can't allow Leipzig to steal Hakimi for nothing. Real Madrid... If you're going to give this guy away, and I thought it would cost, he's 32 and a half, but given his age, I would have thought they would ask for the moon. And I obviously have the money, but I'm not the guy to say no to a deal here. If you're going to offer a bargain, I'll take you up on it. So let's throw in Chiellini here, who at this point has aged a year. He is now 37 on this roster, and will just continue to decline and Rudiger can take up his playing time and we already have Kimpembe and Dio Upamecano. So, they're only asking for $21 million plus Chiellini. 
we dropped this all the way down to 8 million we're gonna ask i'll give you 8 million and 13 chiellini which is ridiculous we're basically stealing this man at this point chiellini probably will play for them they need center back help but i mean look at what we're doing here they've dropped it down to 12 and a half he's worth 32 and a half and he's gonna go way up he's not even close to done growing if he turns into a 90 overall in a couple years no, or two or three years nobody would be surprised so all we do here is take away the sell on clause we keep the 12 and a half and they accept it <laughs> wild I mean, if you're going to give players away, I will take advantage. I just got Hakimi for $12.5 million and an old, washed-up Chiellini, who's just going to keep getting worse. Unbelievable. I mean, this, this guy could turn into the best defender in the game. We already have Alfonso Davies on the roster. Kieran Tierney does a good job with Bayreen and Maitland Niles. This team's loaded. Wow. We do advance it a little bit here because the details worked out. I mean, for him to accept a five year contract for 110 is great for us. I mean, that's cheap. At this point, money's not an issue, but. That was insane. I mean, they, they gave him away. God knows why. I have no idea. Those are all the players we've added. Actually, pretty decent. Like, we were kind of busy. We made a lot of moves. Could you imagine if Leipzig... They, I mean, come on, man. So, to close the video out, we have another funny moment here. Napoli this time wants Sergio Ramos and I kind of added some humor in here I figured this was funny just be patient you'll see what I'm talking about here it won't take too much of your time we advance it here blah 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 some negotiating going back and forth eventually we settle on the 17-7 number which is what Liverpool was willing to pay for him, but I was being a prick. 17-7, Napoli accepts. So, we think Sergio Ramos is going to Napoli. Accepts, done deal, no big deal. Now, we are at the end of the first transfer window, and here are all the moves. I like to show you what's going on, just because when we play these teams, You'll say, oh, I remember he moved. So, I like to show you the roster moves, what other teams are doing. Bayern picked up some pieces. So, here are all the moves. You know what's going on. Joe Gomez, I mean, West Ham, buddy. Yikes. They're going to really suck now. So, those are the moves. Newcastle, what are you doing? These are the moves. Or at least the highest ones. I'll show you my moves. And there they are. These are all the moves. Again, you'll notice when I'm going through the screens, I've loaned out some guys that only they only go away for a year and they come right back. Just the young guys that can continue to grow and get better. That's the goal. Let them continue to get better. That's what happens. We actually made a lot of moves. We made a ton of moves. More than I expected, that's for sure. Now I'm going to show you what the teams in the Premier League specifically did. Because I only showed the big moves. But you'll see what some of the teams did. Chelsea kind of a net neutral there. Probably spent too much money on Thiago. Everton, not a good move getting rid of Moise Keane. 
Leicester City spent way too much money on Cavani. They probably got a little worse. Liverpool got worse for sure. Manchester City did nothing. Manchester United somehow actually made moves and got better. The problem is they didn't even qualify for the, the uh, Europa League last season. They're irrelevant at this point. Tottenham spent some money. Good for them. They still suck. Stoke City, look at them. They got better. Doesn't matter. They're not good enough. Watford got worse. And West Ham got worse. <laughs> That's just what has happened over the years in this series. The teams in the Premier League get worse and I get better. Wolverhampton got worse. So, yeah. So, what do you know here? Here's what happens. Talks break down. Sergio Ramos essentially refuses to go to Napoli. Reporter, will you accept the move to Napoli? Arsenal has accepted a transfer fee from them. You know what? I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! <laughs> The show goes on! This is my home! They're gonna need a fucking wrecking ball to take me out of here! <laughs> uh, you know what? That's some heart, Sergio. I like it. Let's run it back, baby. You can retire with us. You're not going anywhere. I love it. Sergio Ramos. He's sticking around forever. <laughs> That's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.